What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for episode 23 of Hit the Books podcast. We are excited to recap the Super Bowl here for you and all the other jazz we got going on. Lots of news and different things from the NFL to the NHL and maybe some NBA. We'll see what's going on. Let's introduce the boys. Huff, what's going on, man? Not much. Uh, fresh off the Super Bowl. Got the little bye week for us. Excited to be back, though. Get it into some NHL, NBA talk. Maybe get into the, the uh, college basketball going into March Madness here as we get towards the end of the regular season for college basketball. Hey, Mac, what's going on, man? What's going on? Yeah, we had a we had a nice week off. Now we got a lot of college basketball to talk about with March Madness coming up. Um, we can re- re- recap the Super Bowl and, you know, just getting back to talking sports. It's going to be a good week here, episode 23. Let's jump right in, recapping the Super Bowl. The Rams taking down the Bengals. What do you guys got? Yeah, the heavy favorite on the – I think they were sitting around a 200 money line, minus money line. The Rams defeating the Bengals 23-20. to 20. I personally like the – I had the Bengals with the points in that game, the plus four and a half I got it at. Looked like it was a good pick for me. I got the first half under as well, and that ended up hitting. Uh, it was a good game, though. Bengals led throughout the game. It was honestly, I had a lot. I saw a lot of people complaining about the the result of the Super Bowl, but I don't know. I thought it was a pretty good game compared to the, some of the ones we've had in the past couple of years. What do you think, Mackie? I mean, yeah, overall great game. Coming into the season, we obviously didn't. I mean, the Rams were one thing, but we obviously didn't expect this Super Bowl to happen. And uh, I think both quarterbacks came in, and they both played really well. I mean, it was obviously the game went under. It was more of a defensive game, but we expected that coming in. I don't know. I thought it was a very entertaining Super Bowl. I thought both teams put up a good effort, and I don't know. worked out. Rams won. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, there was a couple questionable calls late in that game that I just didn't agree with, but – um, I, I like I said, I had the Bengals with the points, so I, I made out on my end. I was happy to see Aaron Donald get a ring. I'm surprised about the before the game, the news. Uh, I forget who, which ESPN reporter, or NBC reporter broke it, but I heard Aaron Donald said something about retiring. If they would have won that game, obviously they did win the game, but uh, I've heard that he is going to be coming back. But that just surprises me to hear that kind of news for someone that's really in his prime. And- you know I mean? he's, he's hitting his head every single snap so i feel like people that are on, like linemen they don't really they don't really have as long as careers as, as skill players because of how the wear and tear in their on their bodies i don't know just it's a lot you know eight straight I, years, I, I saw head. something it was he wants a new contract which that doesn't surprise me either because if you look at like the amount of defensive players that are getting paid more than him now, because when he signed his deal, it's just a, it, what everyone says this is an outdated deal. He was the highest paid player when he signed the deal, but obviously not anymore. I forget the list of players that are above him, but there's a lot of people that Aaron Donald is uh, obviously way better than we're sitting here saying he's one of the best players at not only his position, but obviously in the game. Uh, this is a two, three time defensive player of the year. And, uh, I think it's just someone that's trying to get a new contract, kind of like similar to what Gronkowski did. He'll th- he'll just threaten the retirement with, you know, if you don't do if you don't give me the money that I want and restructure the deal, I'll just sit out. That's fine with me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he's valuable. He's enough made to his to money. He, exactly. Yeah, I was definitely shocked to hear that, but um, I really thought it would have been sweet if the Bengals would have scored on that last drive. That was so picture perfect, made for. Burrow there, oh my god, and they just couldn't get that fourth down. I mean, yeah, but that's a game where like a defense is gonna, the defense is expected to step up and uh, win you that game for, for the Rams. Yeah, but could you imagine that the Joe Burrow game. Dick Riders, dude? If it was, if yeah. he would have came back yeah. and won down the field, like, oh, imagine if he would have thrown it to Jamar Chase too, because all the people that said they shouldn't have drafted Jamar Chase, like. I wish they did. I mean, I wish it happened. I, I mean, I do other, than too. Money, other than having money on the Rams, like, I, I wanted to see Joey, uh, Joey B uh, succeed. Everyone keeps saying, like, oh, they'll be back. They'll be back. It's like, dude, the AFC is loaded. Like, yeah, I mean, that's like you can have the best team in the league and not see the, the Super Bowl for another seven, eight years. Yeah. 
It's I like mean, you gotta take your you gotta take your chances and run with them. The Bills this year, the Chiefs still had their number. Next year, who knows what's gonna happen in that kind of matchup? If they even get each other, if we see like a Bills Bengals, like you know what I mean? Like all these There's, quarterbacks, the Ravens, the the Chargers, you gotta expect them to have a better season next year, and make a playoff push, but. Yeah, there's a lot of – there's no guarantees for the Bengals to get back to where they're at. I hear a lot of people saying, oh, they'll be back, they'll be back. Yeah, Joe Burrow's a very talented quarterback, and that's not to say he doesn't go on to win so many MVPs or get this team to the playoffs every year, but – So is Josh Allen, so is Pat Mahomes, so is Lamar Exactly. Jeff, so and just to, Justin just Herbert. To, for all these people just to sit there and act like the Bengals are just going to have another easy route to get there. I mean, let's not forget they won the division. It's a very tough division. The Bengals ha- or the Steelers having a down year with uh, Ben going out. Um, who knows what the, the Steelers have the question mark at the quarterback position, the Ravens. I expect the Ravens have a big season next year. Lamar Jackson, you know, I think he could be a dark horse for an MVP next year. He can come back, have a really big year with the uh, Dobbins coming back. You know what I mean? Like, this Ravens team is, uh, who knows if they sign Antonio. This Ravens team could do a lot of damage next year to the team, so I, I don't I don't think it's the road as easy for the Bengals as people expect. So I think it was that that was their chance for a couple of years. Yeah, I mean Bengals, you know they they slip up a few games next year and they end up not winning the division. They're sitting in the wild card, having to play the Bills or the Chiefs in the first round. You know you're not going to take them, even if they already did it. Like they're not you're not going to expect them to win that game two two years in a row. Exactly. So I mean, it's it's just so competitive in the AFC. You can't you can't expect somebody who to just get right back to the Super Bowl. There's so many competitors. You could be the best quarterback in the league, which he's honestly not, and still not make it. So it's just yeah. so competitive. Yeah, I agree. Great stuff there, Super Bowl. It was a great one to watch, in my opinion. Like you said, Huff, great for since compared to the other ones that we've had the past couple of years. I wasn't too big on some of the commercials, personally, if we want to get into that kind of stuff. Uh, the one I did like was the, the electric Chevy truck with the, what's it called? Who was, the, who was in it? I can't think of the person's name, but the Soprano song, or I can't think of it. You know what I'm talking about? I have no idea. I'm not going to lie. I'm not big on that shit. Yeah. I don't really pay attention to the commercials. That was the only one I remember, but there was supposedly a couple of good ones. There wasn't any like huge, big, debatable or controversial ones this year, so that's good. I don't even remember seeing like a Doritos one. I was very surprised. There's always a Doritos one. I know. I just don't remember seeing it. Yeah, let's get into this NBA All Star game. Let's let's recap that a little bit. Mac, yeah, I know you, you said you didn't watch that, but uh, we'll do a quick little recap. On it. You know, yeah, you know a little about it, so. Team LeBron taking down Team Durant, team Durant, 163 to 160. The play I had on this game, I, I said it earlier. I had the, I had Team LeBron with the, uh, just on the money line, and then I had LeBron over 21 and a half points. He ends the game at 24. Obviously, he got the game-winning shot to finish it off. Um, it was a good, it was, a, it was a good All-Star game. A lot of people were hating on it. Obviously, it was the Steph Curry show, him getting the MVP with the 50 points, but. Um, it was a blast to watch, watching him do his thing and shooting from three with all the turnaround threes. Like, the dude's crazy, so. I mean, I know I know people, like, say it's so boring to watch the All-Star game, but in the in the NFL, yeah, that makes sense because it's just stupid. It's too in touch, but. Yeah, but basketball, watching, they're not hitting each other anyway, so. Dude, watching these guys do their thing is actually so sick. These guys are so talented, and you don't even really realize it. Because they're in an NBA game where they're playing against players that are just talented, so they're not going to hit every shot. If they're uncontested, these guys don't miss anything. Anything. They're perfect. And, you know, Steph, he's taking turnaround threes from the logo. It was just insane. Mm-hmm. Guys, absolutely unreal. Obviously, he dropped 16 three-pointers. But, uh, yeah, LeBron's 5-0 and in, in this new format of the All-Star game. Yeah, I did see that. He hasn't lost yet. Yeah, his team's 5-0. Oh. He's also doing, been a, a lot better at drafting. Teams he's played against are stupid. Yeah, I do. I, I I just feel like he always has the way better team. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I feel like every year he does. I don't know. Yeah. How, but it's like, I mean. Durant it's can't have Giannis well, can't. A couple years, couple years, Curry was picking it. 
I, I checked it. It was like, so it's five years. It was Giannis one year, it was Durant two years, and I think it was Curry two years. Isn't that crazy? But, it's been LeBron every year on the other side. They're, yeah. ne- they're never like, let's do Durant it. and Curry. Nah, it's because bec- they do the highest, um, whoever has the most vo- votes in each, in each conference. And he's been the leading vote getter in every single year. Oh, I never knew they did it like that. Yeah, I I actually just read that recently. So I guess he's just a fan favorite. Obviously. Which we already knew that. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it was a good game. I don't care, I don't care what anyone says. Let's uh let's get into this college basketball. Let's get a sleeper sleeper team from you in this uh in this tournament this year, Huff. I'm trying to pull up the futures odds on. NCAA, hold on one second. Which one? A, which one team you've been betting on a lot this year? That's that you think Texas uh, Tech. I've been making a lot of money on Texas Tech. I love Texas Tech, but I don't think they can make a tournament run. No, I don't think they can either. I've just they've just been covering. Dude, their defense is sick. Yeah. Texas Tech at plus three. Thirty three. Excuse me. Thirty three hundred. To win the whole thing, yeah. What about like? Give me Arkansas. I love Arkansas this year. I liked our. I, I had Arkansas yesterday. Um, plus eight thousand. Whoa. I always like UCLA. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't really trust UCLA. I like yeah. Purdue. I think this could be a big year for Kentucky. Personally, Sheboy. Um, Sheboy's having a year, dude. Mm-hmm. How are they doing right now? They're playing right now. Are they? Yeah, I have them in my parlay. The oh, V lost. The V lost. I, mean, I won a parlay because of that. V is on the downward spiral heavily. Losing. Yeah, they're 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 having a pretty bad year. Yeah, they're they're gonna be out of the tournament. If they're, not, they're not making it, is what I mean, but. Texas Tech is only plus twenty five hundred. Yeah, I mean, Kansas. Auburn is have a crazy year. Yeah, I'll take either Kentucky or. Hmm. What about like an Arizona? On the uh, Arizona's tough. Arizona chokes every time. They're like, pretty good. Always in the Elite Eight. Well, with uh, DeAndre Ayton, they lost in the first round. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I got take two picks and then I'll take two picks as well. Alright. I don't I'll go Kentucky cuz I don't think there's much value in Gonzaga. Um I think they could lose a like a sweet 16 matchup. But um a value pick. I I'll, I'll go with I'm just picking between. I'm going to go with Texas Tech or UCLA. I've made good money betting them this year, so uh, give me Texas Tech just for a little pick. 2500 Not bad. I'm going to go with my safe pick here with Purdue. I feel like they have a really good team this year. They got... they're, they're a really good tournament team. Yeah, they are. And then uh, just a little sleeper pick. I guess I, I – I mean, I think Arkansas is really good. I just don't think that they're a tournament team. I don't think they're going to make a deep run just because, I don't know, it's Arkansas. When have they ever done that? Yeah. But uh, I'll go with UConn. I like UConn's team this year. I know they've lost a lot of games, but they've proven that they've been able to hang with some of the best teams. They brought Auburn to a double overtime earlier in the season, a game that they should have won. So uh, they have a really good team this year. I like their team. Yeah, I like Villanova as well, sitting at uh, UConn sitting at plus 6,000. So uh, Villanova plus 2,000 That's another one that I like. So. A lot of good college basketball coming, obviously, as we get into the big tournament, March Madness. Uh, when's the selection? Like, when did they announce the bracket? The 14th or 15th or something like that, right when the tournament game's in, the conference game's in. Okay. So it's around there. It's probably like two two weeks, two and a half weeks. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, best time of the year, you know? Yeah, this is, I love I love March Madness. We're going to have a lot of good coverage of March Madness with the boys. Stay tuned for that. 
Jackie, do you have any take on let's let's get into some some future NHL bets. We're just gonna go over some futures bets this episode that we like for right here for a little bit. Um All right, I got a question. Is there odds on President Trophy winner? Let me see it. If the Avs are plus money, you're President's taking it. President's Trophy. Avs plus one of five. You're taking it at plus money. That's so easy. They don't lose, bro. That is good. Such good odds. I don't see the Panthers catching them. Panthers is Panthers are the second team, plus two twenty, and the the Hurricanes are sitting right behind them at plus five fifty. So, Hurricanes been losing too much too. Yeah, Carolina's been losing like whack, like whack games, but happens. We're still going to be a contender. I don't see the Hurricanes. Yeah, doing well towards the end of this season, and then no way the Panthers are catching the Avalanche, even though they're picking it up. Yeah, this is going to be all Avs. I like that pick, Mackie. What do we like for the Cup? Uh, it's a different story. I don't think the the Avs have cup in them this year. I mean, I think they're gonna yeah. be there. I don't think they'll be there. I think they'll blow it again, and I think McKinnon's gonna make a decision in the next year or two. Who do you think's getting there from the West? You can never count out a healthy Knights team. That's the only team that scares me. And Dude, the Wild, the Wild are good. The Blues are good. Flames are crazy right now. They're at a ten game winning streak. The and the thing is in the East The East I literally think that there's five teams that can that can uh get there. You get I mean you gotta go Canes, you gotta go Panthers, you gotta go Lightning. Mm-hmm. And then I don't I don't think the Leafs can. I I don't think the Leafs can. You could you could you gotta throw Penguins in there because of experience and I think yeah. the Rangers have a good this year, uh, yeah, but that's a little that's a little biased with the Rangers. But I think the Rangers are the fifth no, team. I think I think Rangers have a chance too. So, yeah, I I, I don't. Pens and Rangers are gonna finish one and two in the conference, or if not the conference, excuse me, the division. Yeah, I hope so. There's but a, Carol- there's a boost on Fanduel right now for that exact finish. Or er, there was when I woke up this morning. It was like Pens or Rangers to win the Metropolitan Division. It was like plus one fifty. So as as in either of them? Yeah, either of them win. So as long as Hurricanes don't. Yeah. Hurricanes I think the Hurricanes are division. Yeah. Yeah. I think the Hurricanes will win it, but I think it, I think we'll probably get that two spot. Cause uh, actually I don't know. It's gonna be really fucking close. There's thirty games left. We have the advantage right now with the games played, but I don't know. There's so many games left. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know. I, I do like the value of the Penguins. I really do. I agree. I like. Do you see any value at like what is it? A thousand, not Hurricanes necessarily, but like Leafs at a thousand. No, I agree. no. I don't think Leafs. I don't think Leafs get out of the second round. At it, it, the latest round they make is the second round. They lose. I they wouldn't be surprised if they lose in the first round again. I think Lightning go out in the first round this year. Mm. Just because. They got to lose at some point. Who are they going to play? They're either the Rangers or the Penguins. It's going to be tough. They're going to play either the Rangers or the Penguins. They have to. It, I think it's going to be a tough It's going to be a tough series. I think if Penguins play and they 100% beat them, I think the only thing that holds the Rangers back is experience. It, the thing with the Penguins is it depends so much with Jari. And we've heard this so many times, but it's like, it's a real deal. Last year, he was sick in the regular season. We get to the playoffs against the Islanders. We get waxed. I think we're out in five games, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, this year, he's an all-star. He's in Vegas for the all-star game. Jari, the, uh, you know He shouldn't I mean? have been an all-star, by the way. Just, exactly. Just but, you know what I mean? He had to do something to originally get the what's called the fill-in vote or whatever. But, um. Supposedly, he's this great goalie. That he's, I mean, I see his stats. So, dude, when we play, like, good teams, he, they'll put up his wins against, like, Vasilevsky. Not just, like, head-to-head, but, like, regular season wins this year. Like, he's right there with the best goalies in the NHL. 
it comes down to his performance in the playoffs as to how far this Penguins team can go. If Kapanen's buzzing, obviously Crosby and Malkin, Gensel, Rust, the Latang having a good night, Dumoulin, like this team is is going to make some noise. And I think the same thing. If we play the Tampa Bay or Mackey, who's the other team we would get? Who's getting Florida? Florida's going to win the division, so they're going to get a wild card team. And then you got the the well, it's gonna it's gonna be Lightning and Leafs, and then us and you guys, I think. So if you don't get the Lightning, you'll get the Leafs. I think we'd I think we'd murder the Leafs in five games. Yeah, I think so too. I think we wouldn't have a problem with them either. Yeah, I agree. I'd be surprised but, uh, well, if it well, went to six either way. Washington is also kind of right behind me, both of us. Yeah, that's another team. There's some val. <sighs> I hate to say they value that the plus three thousand is just like if they make a run. I don't think that team is. I don't think that team is good this year. I think it's just Ovechkin having another great year. Yeah. Without him, they're not a good team. No. At all. Um. They got some goaltending issues too. Do you think the Rangers could could win a cup this year? No. I don't think that they'll win a cup this year. I think that they could uh, make a name for themselves this year and. Maybe make the Eastern Conference Finals, but I don't know. I just that offense isn't reliable enough. They need a power play to get to get a goal, and then to get them like rolling. They just don't buzz until they actually get something going. Yeah, I mean, plus two thousand odds to win the cup. You don't think there's any value there? What's their odds to win the the um, Eastern Conference or their conference? Eastern Conference plus 1, champion plus one thousand. I think there's may maybe maybe some value in there. I like the Penguins odds there plus eight hundred. Still, yeah, I'd I wish. To see I just him. feel like these odds aren't. I feel like these odds aren't, aren't good enough. Yeah. What is like? What is like? Abs odds to win their conference. It's got to be like pl- like plus two fifty. Plus one seventy five. Fucking ridiculous. Like, that is not good enough odds to take. Yeah, to go through the NHL playoffs. You know what I mean? Yeah. The NHL playoffs. We've seen Columbus sweep the best team in the league, Tampa. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. That was crazy. There's one. Um, where was it? The Rocket Richard. It's a close race. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What's that? The goal scores. Dude, we're, I we're see it on here right now. I was going to say, I don't see it on here right now. Yeah. Damn. Well, Dry Saddle's probably in first with Matthews McDavid, a little behind. McDavid got two tonight. McDavid's a little far back, though. McDavid's yeah. got 26. But if he goes, on, he goes on any run, I mean, he could catch him. You're right. I think we're going to have some good playoff hockey this year. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm so excited for playoffs. Yeah, it's good every year. All right, some other NHL news. Zdeno Chara is now the only active athlete across the four major pro sports leagues born before 1978. He's turning 45 (laughs) this year. (laughs) That is not surprising. How old is he? Uh, he's turning 45. Holy shit. So with Tom Brady retiring, he's now the oldest. Tom Brady, yeah, I yeah. think, is going to be the San Francisco 49ers quarterback. You think yeah, he's going to come Garoppolo. back? Yeah. Uh, Jimmy? Garoppolo? Yeah, the, I think they're going to get rid of him. I, that's what I thought I heard. They've been saying that, but, like, what are you going to do? Get a new quarterback? You just draft Trey Lance. And Trey Lance is not ready to come back, come into the NFL. Exactly. I think they trade him, too. Or keep him because well, Brady's not a guarantee. Let him sit behind Brady for a year. Brady's not going to come back this year. Yeah, still, oh, I, I have another. He's still in contract. If he came back, he'd have to be traded. Yeah, you don't think he could get that set up? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think you can announce retirement and then do that. Maybe next year. I'll tell you why Tom Brady's not. Tom Brady is producing and starring in a film, 80 for Brady, 
a movie about four Pats fans going to the 2017 Super Bowl. Which one was the 2017 Super Bowl? Was that the one when he beat the Rams? No, that was 2019. That was the Seahawks? 20... No. That was, yeah, no, that was the Falcons. 2017, they didn't win, I don't think. I was going to say, that was the Falcons. Yes, Thir- oh, it was the Falcons. It was the Falcons. You're right. It was the year before the Eagles. Yep. So he's going to be in a movie. I heard. Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably watch it. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to see like a little trailer. You'll watch it. I'll watch it. Well, I'll watch it. You're right. Oh, why would you not? It's Tom Brady. <laughs> I just don't need to watch the man in the arena. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet either. What is it even about? Is it I don't good? know. Is it good? I don't know. I've been wanting to watch it. I just keep seeing ads for it on ESPN Plus every time I watch a million hockey games at night. Yeah, me too. That's exactly where I see it. I got another good uh, NHL NHL news. Former Rangers forward Sean Avery, 41 years old, comes out of retirement and signs a contract with the ECHL Orlando Solar Bears. Yeah. Which is... Which is Biz Nasty's team. Yeah. Yeah. What a beast, dude. Who else? Do you guys want to go to a Solar Bears team game? Yeah, I'll go. I can guess ticks. Those are probably electric. I know. It looks fun. Their jerseys are sick. Yeah. Sean Avery, dude. He's a legend. Getting getting his name back out there. What a smart guy. He's going to start making some money now. I love the video of him on his Instagram when he's pissed off about the dude riding a bike. You ever see that? Yeah, in New York City when he's yelling at him. Dude, he's such a... Yeah. I got a couple more things. 2022-2023 Winter Classic Stadium Series and All-Star Weekend locations and some of the matchups were announced. Uh, 2023 NHL Winter Classic is going to be at Fenway Park, but no opponent listed for the Bruins. The 2023 Stadium Series is going to be at Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hurricanes, no opponent yet. Hurricanes. The All Star Game is, yeah. And the All Star Game is going to be hosted by the Florida Panthers at FLA Live. I did see that. I did see that. What next year? Yeah, the All Star Game is in Florida. Huh? They don't get enough fans for that. I don't think they will. I agree. Well, obviously it'll pack, but like they don't deserve it. It's just because they're good. Alrighty, I think that's going to do it for us this week here on Hit the Books. We're excited for what's to come. Lots of good stuff coming for the March Madness games and such. Anything else to add, boys? Nothing really for me. That's all I got for you. Come back next week. Um, We'll kind of continue to break down what's going on in the NHL, uh, college hoops and also the NBA a little bit. Aki, what do you got for the people? Say, say goodbye. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, we got March Madness coming up. Obviously, the best time of the year. My favorite time of the year. I love college basketball. But, um, yeah, just keep, keep posting. Maybe we'll post a few TikToks. Got some college basketball NHL plays. And, uh, yeah, just stick around. Thanks, boys. Heck yeah, Mackie said it. Make sure to follow the Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Check out our website, things like that. We'll po- be posting on all of them. And that's going to do it. Peace. And that's going to do it for us here on this episode of Hit the Books Podcast. Be sure to check us out on our various social media platforms. Instagram at hitthebooks.pod. Twitter at hitthebooks underscore pod. Website at hitthebookspod.com for all the latest on Hit the Books. And be sure to always study hard. Gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER.